to the 210 culture podcast i am g i'm joe hector and uh we're just gonna pretend that there was clapping going on there when there wasn't but um <laughs> uh welcome to podcast palooza week number two um and today we have our special guest <laughs> which is jorge from the too hard too fast podcast thank you for being on the show here with us today these uh these sound effects are freaking me out because <laughs> You're like, what? It's I was about fight. to run out. Let me get to it. That's specifically why we picked that this one. This is entrapment. Yeah. We just wanted to uh, get you in here because we were told that we had to, it, you were you were worth a lot. <laughs> we plead the fifth, sir. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, thank you guys for tuning into the show today. Um, Donna is in a bubble, so that is why she's not here today. Actually, I have uh, breaking news. Donna got abducted by aliens, and uh, she's in Zimbabwe. Yes. They're around us. They're among us. She's filming the documentary in Zimbabwe, teaching the locals the 956 language. <laughs> with the cut hair. With the cut of So you're going to see them all with hot Cheetos and breakfast tacos next week. And fake nails. Yes. <laughs> uh, of course, let's pay the bills and get this out the way. Thank you to all our sponsors, like always. But um, shout out to Military City AC and Heating. You know, it's getting hot. It's 105 on the average during the week. Your AC is about to die. I know it. I can hear it. So um, call up Albert. Let him know 210 Culture sent you. He'll check it out, see what needs to be done. If anything can be replaced without replacing the whole unit, he'll hook you up. If not, then he'll get you a good deal on a whole new unit. Um, so check him out. Of course, we are live on Pub Sports Radio, Pub Culture Radio, the whole family network. It's good. And um, live at Southtown 101, one of the best bars in San Antonio. Yeah. And uh, get their jalapeno popper burger. That thing's amazing. Um, just because I saw a plug this week and I've been dying to have one. And uh, of course, the official after party, unofficial after party of the 210 Culture podcast, Bear. Uh, why did I say Bear? Because the logo. Bar 321. Jesus. Yeah, thank you, Nicole and Brian. By the way, they'll be having a mixer, business mixer, this Thursday, 5 30, with our dear friend Samantha Guajardo. Yes. Uh, shout out to Samantha. Shout Brian and Nicole, thank you guys so much for always, always uh, sponsoring us and taking care of us. And of course, what's a Sunday breakfast without Eddie's Taco House? Mm. So, um, you know, go visit. They're not open just on Sundays. You can visit them throughout the week. For sure. They have a taco special every every morning, all week. And they have a daily specials on the daily. Tomorrow they have a big day, customer appreciation day. Make sure that you go there. It's going to be worth it, guys. Uh, Cassandra. Priscilla, Hector, Caballero, thank you so much, guys, for your patronage and sponsorship. We appreciate you guys. And, of course, last but not least, because this is a very special week and stressful week for Steve, so if you see him, don't bother him. Uh, <laughs> Texas Bearded Cartel with Chingon Fest coming out this Saturday at the Liquidation Appliance Center uh, right across the highway over here. Um, I will be in attendance, and um, check it out. They got a whole list of bands, and I forgot to pull them up, but, you know, our boys Cauterize are playing. Um, it's fun for the whole family. Go out there, have a good time, and um, you know, support your gear. I have a 101 shirt. There's this is like a limited edition run that nobody else has. So, um, so yes, when we first met, this was actually the first shirt he gave me. So that's why I wear it today because I wasn't able to make it out yesterday. But be on the lookout for his promo video promoting the event as well as we will repost it when it comes out. Shout out to Manny over at uh, TOK. I forget those numbers. My bad, Manny, um, who shot the video yesterday. I couldn't make it because I was out of town. So sorry, Steve. But um, we will be there Saturday at Chingon Fest. Steve will be there again, guys. Don't forget El Chingon Fest or Chingon Fest. Fourth annual, by the way. Yes. They'll be uh, all about the Chingon style or lifestyle. Be there or be square forever. Now, um, you said we weren't going to talk about it? Oh, no, we'll talk about it. Okay. So Hector has a fun little story that he wants to let everybody know. <laughs> um, because we almost lost him yesterday. And we almost had to have a new co-host. Yeah, uh, unfortunately, I had a little accident 
uh, and it was kind of scary to the people around me. Uh, it wasn't as scary as it was to me, but I won't go into details, but I almost almost bit the big one. I almost went to go visit my grandma on accident. Um, but the funny story I wanted to share was I was at a bar on Friday, go figure. And this guy out of nowhere is like, hey, uh, what do you do, man? I'm like, I'm a stripper. <laughs> and my buddy goes, he's a gay stripper. And the guy goes, okay, no, I'm good, bro. And mm -hmm. I'm like, you don't want a beer? You want a Bud Light? And he's like, no, no, no. No, no, I'm all right, bro. So I go, I'm not going to dance for you, bro. I'm off. Like, I'm cool. And he's like. Unless oh. you got singles. Yeah. He's like, oh, can you play some heavy metal? I go, oh, I got the app. Oh, no, I'll go put it myself. I go, I'll go with you. He goes, no, I'm good. <laughs> so the whole night he kept looking over his shoulder. Um, and I thought it was hilarious. And my friend goes, dude, go tell him what you really do. So I was like, hey, boss, I'm just fucking around. I'm not a stripper. I'm a porn star. <laughs> and he's like. Straight or gay? I go both. <laughs> so the guy bought me beer the whole night, and I cut it. I cut it early, but it was it was a fun night. It was fun. I wish y'all would have been there. Y'all would have left your asses off more. I was gonna say you were there with the straw, uh, trying to grab the straw the whole night. Wow. <laughs> no, mm -hmm. I don't know what bars you going to. <laughs> yeah, but you said you almost died. What if like this was a setup, and that's why I'm here? You know, well, you know then, we had, then we had problems. We weren't supposed to tell him until after oh, no. the show oh. he was getting replaced. I was like, wow, I didn't really think about that shit. <laughs> and now that's, we're here. That's what that's actually we were supposed to tell him at the end of, at the end of the month. We were actually trying new guest hosts to oh. see which ones work. That's, that's why Donna's point. not here. Meet the yeah. transition. Meet <laughs> she didn't want to break the news. Oh, that, she, oh okay, got it. That, 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 being, was, that was the whole being replaced. Is that what it is? That was the whole point of Podcast Palooza. We were going to have the different hosts, and then when oh, so y'all were having an audition. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, At the end of the month, we were like, okay, well, this is we like the best. That works. The I best. feel like Denzel Washington. Oh, you <laughs> motherfuckers! <laughs> I'm gonna put cases on all y'all ass. You want to do that to me? I don't. I can't do quotes, man. I don't know why I try. Uh, I'm a fucking. Movie. <laughs> I'm a movie freak, dude. It's like. I was doing La Bamba last night. I was like, God damn. But it was so, man, now I'm hurt. Donna, you <laughs> ain't worth the shit. Hey, gotcha. You I'm did that to me? To me, Donna? That's cool. I was going to sing Donna to you. Yeah, so, she, so the comments here, it's all Donna pretty There you much. go. Too hard, too so, fast. Yeah, so Donna said, uh, and I'm Donna, I guess, in the intro. And she said, the stars are here today because I'm not feeling good, so Hector will tell you the deets. Thanks for letting us know. Um, yeah. And then she put LOL. And then she said, I have questions ready. So we'll run through her questions here. So the first thing she said is, uh, what makes what what makes your podcast too hard too fast? Oh wait, what? Me? Yes. Uh dang. Um what makes my podcast too hard <laughs> too fast? I don't know what that question actually implies, but okay. Well, a lot of things. <laughs> Honestly, well, okay. Let's uh I wasn't ready to talk about me. I still wanted to talk mess about all of it. Oh, for sure. We'll no, go you know, back to that. Oh, we're just running down the list. Oh, okay. We bounce, we bounce back and forth. Don't no, worry. no, no. <laughs> let, let's go with uh, that question. So too hard, too fast. It started with, uh, it was in college with one of my closest friends who was actually my co-host at the very beginning of all this. And we would just talk about like, you know, going to parties and we would usually show up late. So we try to catch up mm -hmm. and then we would have conversations the next morning going, oh man, like, why do we, you know, why do we don't remember anything, you know, kind of. Yeah. We need to like be better about it, and then we came up with you know, hey, it's uh, too or I told them to, we're going too hard too fast. So then, <clears> whenever one of us, uh, you know, started going too hard too fast, we would whisper like, hey, too hard too fast, <clears> and so it just means slow down, enjoy the enjoy the night. So that's what it means. Like so, in the podcast itself, it's not really like it, it started off like just pounding beers and drinking and talking mess, and getting our guests drunk, and then they will loosen up. But um, but now it's like talking um talking about society and culture mm -hmm. but with um look com comedy stuff okay. but it's always about just slowing down and enjoying the moment so yeah, whether it's going something's going bad or something's going good for you slow down because this is you know enjoy the moment it's short yeah i think donna might be already having a little too much to drink you drink over there because <laughs> the rest of her questions just reply with the twos <laughs> so next one is uh what are two things that make it hard and what are two things that make it fast? What, how fast is it supposed to be? Yes. How hard is it supposed, supposed to be? Honestly, then that's funny because like everybody expects the podcast to be like, bam, bam, bam. But there's a lot of times where I like, I'll slow it down and just like chill into it. And um, yeah, it's like, I, then I think like a lot of people are like, damn, there's nothing hard or fast about this. <laughs> False every time you don't yeah, want right. my money back. <laughs> 
Most of it is slow and soft, oh, right? <laughs> hey, our season's coming up. It's all right. Yeah, exactly. Um, I'm just going to read through all Donna's things so she don't get all mad here. So then something else we were saying, she said lame. Then she said OMG. And then she said, what if he was there at the bar and knew what happened? Who? I don't know. Anyway. Um, then she said, sounds like that's how we started our podcast. Yeah, ours was kind of the same thing. It was the, our other original co-host was a friend of mine, too. And we would go film when we were doing our food videos and stuff. And we were done. We'd come back. I mean, then we'd just kind of be like bullshitting. We're just like, oh, yeah, did you hear about this? And did you hear about that? And then we were just like, I think it's funny enough that people might actually care about what we say. So then we shot our first episode. And then, like, ever since then, it just kind of it been just goes too hard to fail. So, yes. And that's the best thing. Like, it just goes with anything. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But, I think I think it's it's uh, great because you get to know someone you normally wouldn't talk to. Oh yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. So I don't know if I saw you in the street, like, hey, that dude has a cool cap, but I don't know who he is. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. and that's the same thing because I, in 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 the social world, I'm super awkward. I really, I feel like I cannot, I can't order food in the drive thru. By yeah. the time I f- I get to the drive thru, I forget what I'm gonna say and what and I'm gonna do. Like have to act. Yeah, <laughs> and then um, uh, but on the podcast, boom, I got questions. I can talk to you about whatever. But so it's not like your safe space. Yeah. You could be you. Yeah. I, I think, I don't know what it is. It's, it's, I feel like I enter something else, maybe a different reality. But, uh, like if I were to meet you outside in this bar, yeah, I, I wouldn't talk. I would probably hide in the corner somewhere and just oh, try wow. to get. Yeah. I'm the opposite. Yeah. Face. Yeah, I'm, I'm, the same way. <laughs> I'm the same way. That's why I brought him in. <laughs> but I love people that can talk. So. Oh, dude, you came to the right spot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we need to hang out, bro. Yeah, but no, like, once you talk to me, boom, let's go. Oh, that's good. Hey, shout out to uh, Puro Pedo Talk Show. What's up, Cheeto Mart? Thanks for tuning in, guys. I haven't seen them much yet. <laughs> um, <laughs> hey, well, shout out to Worm if he's listening. He better be. I told him. Worm, hey, Worm, what's up, Worm? He was my uh, co-host, my original co-host. So, and shout I out think, to Este Vato. And I think that's kind of like, Oh, yeah, I'm exactly the same way. And I think that's kind of where I feel like a lot of the pod, all the good podcasts that really come from are just like out of discussions. Cause I think those are the ones I like. Cause yeah, you have like the ones that are like, I'm the business person. And I'm like, those don't draw me in. So the ones I really like are the ones where just people just having conversation. Yeah, so about like, stuff that I probably wouldn't be into. Yeah. But because somebody else is talking about it, I'm listening. Yeah. And then you're just like, oh, okay. Like right now, well, they just continue, but the Bodega Boys is one of my favorite ones with Jesus Mero and, uh, like those are just funny because it's just two dudes just in there talking there, and so, like, so, yeah, normal. And, and it was like three hours, and it was just them. Like they would go back and forth. They start talking about porn and then talking about sports, and then just saying, you know, just like I would drive all week to work, and that's what I would listen to. And by the time I was done with my week, I'm like, all right, cool. Like <laughs> I learned stuff about New York that I'm never gonna use in my life, but okay, cool. Well, I mean, someone would talk about San Antonio and Fiesta and Barraco and Big Red, and oh fuck, someone in Iowa is listening to you. Yeah, like I can't wait to go to San Antonio. You. Yeah, dude, I Uber. By the way. And I get people, I'm like, look, if you're going to come to San Antonio, come in April for Fiesta. I call it Mexican Mardi Gras. And come in Mexican on, Mardi Gras. Come the day after Thanksgiving, not because of Black Friday, but they light up the whole river walk. Mm-hmm. And it stays there till January 3rd. Oh, that sounds like a badass time to come. And I'm, I'm like, you wouldn't no, know that. It's terrible. But yeah. <laughs> and I always talk about Niosa. I'm like, oh, you got to go to Niosa, bro. Night at Old San Antonio on Thursday, college night. Like, how old do you? Oh, how, old, how old do you think I am? <laughs> 35? Yeah, I'm too old for that. <laughs> Because back then, college night was a shit. If you ever experienced that, college night, what well, you had to be there at college night. Because yes. girls were giving away kisses like candy. <laughs> back then, there was no COVID. Thank God. Sorry, Donna. <laughs> or there was, but we were just better about it. Yeah, well, yeah. We, we, we were more sushi. <laughs> yeah. It's like the, normally, the normally, tacos, they don't want your hands. Like, eh, I was going to say, normally yeah. the COVID you caught back then got taken care of with a penis <laughs> yeah. shot, so it was fine. Oh, we were all sharing germ stunts like we were okay. Mm-hmm. You know, we had it already. It's like a doggy park. Everybody's <laughs> looking for the same bowl. I was going to say, who knew where the cups came from either? The cups are all somebody's cool little bit. Here, oh, here, everyone, here's your beer. Dude, speaking of that shit, I was, I went, and I'm going to put them on blast. I went to the Ojo Locos on South Park. And their mugs tasted like ass water. Don't ask me how I know what it tastes like. No, 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 no. no. How do you know what it tastes like? Okay, I'm going to tell you. <laughs> and I want to know what ass water is. Is it the water that's in the toilet or the, the toro? No, no, no. Or is it ass water or is, is the sweat in the crack? No, no. Ass water, <laughs> oh, the sweat ass water is like the remnants from a bidet spray. Have you ever used a bidet? <laughs> I love talking about bidet. I wish I had one. Dude, they're, all, they're on Amazon, $20. I still owe Jose two of them. 
But, yeah, but I live on the on on the west side, man. It's okay. So. Well, you, unless you take a shit outside, ain't nobody gonna know, bro. <laughs> and unless you tell people, no, I'm know. just afraid that I'm gonna connect the water to my drinking water too. <laughs> No, you got chocolate water, you got a bottle. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying. No, no, no. Dude, but, but these are, they're, to me, they're therapeutic. They're calming. I don't have to worry about toilet oh, paper. Just, what are you doing? Reading a book while you're getting No, I'm actually, I'm watching fucking TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> like, how to bidet properly. He's like, he's like I'm that, a bidet gentleman. He's like, he's, like that, he's like that gif of Omo just in the toilet yeah. like that, fucking dancing and shit. With that's the bidet's going meditation. Dude, time. but it's like I tell the guys, whenever I discuss that, yeah. I always say, you got to straddle the front because you got to get the fucking front part. Because now you won't have fucking caquita and those speckles <laughs> of shit in your balls. You're going to take a picture like, it smells funky in this motherfucker. This caquita for murder. Like, get it all, bro. Get Don, it all. And you got to go commando when you use it. I'm Don, just saying. Donna said that's why he said he lives on the west side. They only got community bathrooms. <laughs> <laughs> hey, first of all, that that's true. And shut your mouth. <laughs> hey, you can only talk mess about the west side if you're in it. Oh, that's true. Do that. <laughs> What's up, Steve? The chingon, the metal metal chingon is online with us. Thanks, Steve. Appreciate you. See you yes. Saturday, bud. We'll be there Saturday, Steve. Sorry I didn't make it yesterday. I was out of town. But um, I'll be there. And again, August 19th, Liquidation Appliance. Uh, the Liquidation Place that sells the appliances across the street. You got it. You're doing such a great job today, dude. I know. I'm trying. I'm no, trying. no pressure. No pressure whatsoever. I'm trying. Um, So I found out yesterday my mom's an alcoholic. So that was fun. <laughs> Did you find that out? Um, so my mom was she like, <laughs> well, yeah, so we go. My mom's like, I started because my mom for the longest time didn't really drink because of my dad. And then now that my dad's like not able to drink anymore, he had to switch it on alcoholic. So now he kind of lets my mom do her thing. So we went yesterday to Rockport. And I was like, oh, we're going to go fishing. So I'm going to make a drink real quick before we leave. And I was like, we're like, OK. So she pulls out a bottle of Tito's. And she just like starts filling her Yeti cup. She pours the whole lemonade. And then she pours the bottle of Tito's. And she's like pouring a little bit. And I was like, um. So she doesn't drink a lot. We're like, um, I think that might be more than enough. And she's like, nope, can't taste anything. And she's all, oh. and she, puts like little, she puts a little bit more. And I was like, mom, I think you're good. And she's like, nope, still can't taste anything. And she goes again. I'm like, mom, you should probably stop. Like, nope, still can't taste anything. She puts like a good, like a quarter of the bottle. God, in the I want to party with her. And I'm like, um, mom, I think you have a problem. And she's like, where do you think you get it from? It's not just from your dad. And I was like, well, then. So, yeah, we all made one and had a good time. But, uh, but it's just funny now watching her now that she's like older and then my dad's not drinking that now she can drink and she's just like well let her live her life i know it's just funny to watch it's it. her like, turn now i <laughs> wish i wish i could have drank last night at ojos but that's another story with the ass water so this is what's happening they have so much people so much business so those mugs all they do is just like they're not cleaning them so it's dirty water whoever's doing the, the busing is not cleaning that water enough to where it just it tastes like damp water like water's been sitting there for a while and it's just nasty so I told the bar, I told the girl the server, which was horrible, by the way. Her name was Claire. If you get Claire, run. I'm putting everyone on blast. So I told her, I go, hey, can you bring us two new mugs? And my boss is like, no, nah, dude, give me a beer bottle. Like, give me a middle light. So she comes back and she's just she didn't even serve a beer to begin with. So as I'm pouring the beer, I see the little spigot where it comes out from, and it's like looks like rust, like it's dirty. And I'm like, man, when's the last time these guys clean this? So if you ever gone to a restaurant and the tea tastes sour. It's because they don't clean the spigots. Two fact, I used to work in restaurants. <laughs> so I told her, hey, um, can you just bring me a Modelo in a bottle? Like, we're, we're done. We're not even touching this tower. That motherfucker was full. Mm -hmm. So then it took her 20 minutes to bring me a Modelo. By that time, my boss was like, hey, can we get some more water and another beer? Another 20 minutes for that. And I'm like, dude. Then she just disappeared. She did the fucking alien disappearance. And I was stopping every way. She was like, hey, can you find out where the fucking server is at? Because shit, it's been a while. I see her coming. I'm like, oh, hell yeah. She's coming this way. I flagged her down. She looks at me and just fucking beelines <laughs> towards the night table. I'm like, this bitch. And then she gets, she goes the long way around us. I'm like, yeah, that's it. So I talk, I stopped the next girl and I'm like, hey, can you get your manager over here, please? I want to be that guy. Mm -hmm. So she's like, uh, is there anything okay? Obviously not if I'm calling the manager. Call him, please. So then it's so messed up there. They have their stations on where the lighting goes. So everyone's walking around looking at like they're fucking tourists. So the guy goes to the wrong table right next to us. And he's all like, hey, guys, I'm the manager, blah, blah, blah. How's everything going? They're like, well, we're good. What's up? Well, didn't you call me? And I'm like, hey, genius, over here. Sound like <laughs> one of the guys from Goodfellas. Hey, come here. Come here, Jacko. And the guy comes over. He goes, yes, sir. How can I help you? Look, something's wrong here. We're in a bar. Cowboys are playing. That's the first well, problem. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. I wasn't there to watch the Cowboys. Message. I was there to drink. So, oh, shit. What is it? 
it ain't busting. You're absolutely right, Donna. It wasn't busting. It mm -hmm. sucked balls. So I'm telling the guy, look, we have a tower full of beer. We've already gone to four glasses. Beer tastes like shit, but it's one of the glasses and the beer. I'm like, this little girl, I don't know where she's at. It's taking her 40 minutes to bring two beers. She was making ass water. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, or she water. was taking a bath, one of the two. <laughs> So Lord's bath. I taste like Nass and Gale. I don't fucking know. So, and if you don't know what that means, you're fucking too young. So I don't know what it means. Oh, I don't, yeah. I don't think I want to find out. It's, it's douche water. No. <laughs> anyway, I, I digress. So the manager's like, well, would y'all like another round? I'm like, no, dude, I want to get the fuck out of here. He's like, sir, I'm terribly sorry. You know what? I'm going to take care of your tab. Good. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else? You know what? Let me have a 20 piece. <laughs> some French fries. My boss goes, he's fucking around. Let's get the fuck out of here. I'm like, Never mind, dude. I'll, I'll catch you on the flip. I'll be back from my wings. <laughs> he goes, don't worry about it, sir. I apologize. Go, here's my card. That way you know who I am. You'll see the Google review. <laughs> I promise. And then my boss's like, you're going to Google them on fucking ojos? I'm like, fuck no. Let them shit on that for a little bit. But then I'm like, they don't give a shit. That place was packed. Nobody gives a rat's ass. Like, I'm going to write a letter to your manager. Dear ojos. <laughs> or is it Mr. Locos? <laughs> I don't know. But, dude, the one in Dallas is badass. If you've ever been to the one in Dallas, they're all Mexicanas. Like, for real, for real, Mexicanas. We, our server that we had when I went there, I'm like, ¿Cómo te llamas? Claudia. Donde eres? Chihuahua. Chihuahua. That's how they talk. The girls from Chihuahua, they Chihuahua. They make it so sensual and sexy. You're like, fuck it. I don't care. Charge me $300. <laughs> but the funny thing is, they'll come and flirt with you, but they, like, they're drawn to, like, floss the moss to flame with the chunteros, the mm -hmm. little peso plumas. And I'm like, those dudes don't work. <laughs> what are you doing with those dudes? That's they the just, style right now. I don't know. I guess you gotta be a taquachio or something. Donna said, what do you expect from the ojos locos on the fucking south side? First of all. Dang, you didn't even I'm, say where it was from. There's a multiple ojos locos. No, I did. I oh, did, you did? Yeah, okay. I did ojos <laughs> I mean, I mean, I'm just looking for one that has maybe two kids, three kids max. Like, I mean, I know what I'm getting. And you know, the there. crazy part was I didn't know any of the girls on the roster. I normally know at least 10 of them because I would go there a lot. And I, it was like, I was in another universe. I'm like, oh, it's not going to be good. Like, you know, when you go somewhere, you're like, oh, fuck. I know none of these people. I'm going to get. <laughs> so I'm like, well, let's ride the light and see what happens. <laughs> Spin the bottle. You know what I'm stuck on? I'm still stuck on the dishwater that you were talking about. Because <laughs> as soon as you said it, I could, like, go back to one of my friend's house in high school and. Smell you know, the wet rag? The, the, the sponge that the mom uses mm. to, like, wipe and then just leaves it sitting on the sink. And it just, like, it, it's like, you know, it gets used multiple times yeah. past its expiration date. And every dish after that meal it had whatever, that taste. has the same that, taste. I'm not making it up. Yeah. That's what I was getting at. I'm like, I was like, just imagine ass water. Just imagine going to a little mm -hmm. bowl, sitting your ass up, and then going to do your business, and then make you fucking top ramen with that shit. It tastes like ass. Hey, you know what? They fed me, so I don't care. <laughs> it's free okay. tastes good. It's exactly <laughs> free ninety nine all day, all day long. But yeah, that that thing was like, and my boss is all like, dude, that's fucking crazy. We never had that problem. I'm like, I know, like, I don't know what it is, like. It was you? No, bro. They're like, he likes a cochino. And no, like we, well, we got started at Twin Peaks. So we were like feeling good. And the service wasn't that great there either. But it was like, you could taste the beer. Dude, I saw I saw this poor girl walking with a tower. It was this much beer and that much head. <laughs> I was like, how much is that? $10? She's like, oh, no. It's $34.99. I'm like, shit. I ain't going to pay for that shit. Take that shit back. What does it say? It's always Hector. Why does some shit always happen to you? Laugh my ass off. I'll say, I know my miss. I'm sorry. If it's free, it's on, it's for me. Oh, of course. Hey, all you need, if it's got a lot of hair, you do that noise, nose oil, wipe it down, it all goes back up. Have you ever done that? That's a college what? trick. Mm -hmm. Is that? Oh, okay. Well, just... I, okay, I, I'm pretty sure I just spoke in cursive, but <laughs> uh, if you get a little bit of that no, nose oil mm -hmm. and you dip it in your beer when it's got a lot of head and you swish it around a little bit, and it all, all that head goes away. Really? Yeah, it's disgusting. But oh, if you don't no, like I, it, I heard you so put your why, finger so in it. So that's why I stopped getting hit. But, um... <laughs> Not your butt, the beer. Like, oh. <laughs> no, the lady goes, what are you doing? I'm like, watch. And I stuck my finger in. Mm. <laughs> I go, I'm going to stick my finger in yours. He's like, what? No, on the beer. <laughs> and my beer's like, that's awkward. <laughs> I'm like, I just thought I'd ask. She's like, what? She's like, what the actual fuck? <laughs> 
Yeah. Oh, nobody's ever it. tried it. I'm sure. Like if the, I'm sure whoever's listening. I haven't heard about the, the oil, but I know the finger. Yeah, I just put the finger on the side. The finger, yeah, the finger. The, finger. I mean, you don't stick your whole damn knuckle. You just. Oh, no. La yeah, puntita. Just, they're, they're like that. Yeah. La pura puntita, like my friend says. No, pura pichilla. La puntita. What, what <laughs> how, the, did, how did you even come across? I can't take it. It's super hard in the way. I think it's that. A, or how did you even think that was a good idea? It's, it it was. Uh, we came across it as anybody else probably were, like, kind of like in this, like, shocked, like, Somebody dipping their fingers into, like, nah, the, get into the beer bottle. Yeah, it's like, anyway, yeah. hey, let's just stick it up. Oh, and then, they were drunk as shit, scratching their nose, and they were grabbed the cup like that. And they're like, oh, it works. Oh, yeah, wait, it's science way. We learned it in school. I want to patent that. <laughs> Stud soaker. What is Hector. Hey, Dave, what's up, Dad? You finally got on. I'm glad you're on. David, one of the old school, he used to call him El Palomino. One of the best bartenders ever. Also a pool shark. Do not play pool with that dude. That motherfucker mm -hmm. would take all your money and your grill. And Cynthia says, hey, guys. Hey, Cynthia. Um, that's DJ X6's mom. Oh, hi, uh, DJ X mom. I never met her. She's a very nice lady. I like it because we, we used to talk cheese about all the people that we used oh. to be around. So that was always the best part. And then we'd always find ways to make her son uh, more famous. And half of the ideas were super crazy. I just have a very creative marketing mind. Um, because his his uh DJ name is X6, so I was trying to get him to like come on stage with a bunch of axes, like six of them. Oh, exactly. <laughs> I sorry, I wasn't listening. I'm looking at this and I'm looking at your at your feed, and, and I was like, like, What am I doing? I'm not moving. <laughs> so I was kind of tripping out for a little bit. <laughs> Too hard to Man, find. that's a good brownie though. <laughs> She said, what's Dad, you're missing all the fun. She said, what's a mind-blowing fact that y'all just found out? This the streaming to me, man. The streaming's freaking me out. <laughs> to right me, now. the fucking knows, though. That fucked my world up. Um, I don't know, but I forgot. <laughs> you guys want to know something I learned recently? Yes. Yes, yeah, so This please. will probably fuck you guys up. Ooh. Um, I did not know uh, until maybe two weeks ago that relish is pickles. I had no fucking idea. I was like... I, I don't know what that is. And they, they, they told me, like, oh, what do you think it was? It's, like, it's just relish. That's what it is. And I was just shocked to hear that relish is pickle. So I had no idea. What? Yeah, I didn't know. I didn't know that it was pickle. What was your country of origin? Venezuela. <laughs> I rest my case. <laughs> exactly. So what do you think relish was? Just relish. I don't know. Like a whole thing? Like a hey, whole, it's had its own subgroup. Let oh. me show you my relish tree. Well, do you know yes. a pickle is just a cucumber dipped in vinegar? Mind blown. Two times. <laughs> I guess not. I've never had either, so. What the fuck? Oh, you, I know you don't eat egg, but yeah. pickles? I've never had pickles or cucumbers. Do you yet. eat like oh, a yeah. pickle hole? I don't know whoa, what that whoa, means. Whoa, whoa. He doesn't pickle holes in his thing. I'm confused now. No, like a whole pickle. Do you like pop it in your mouth or you take a bite? Uh, neither. So I've never okay, had either. So you don't like pickle or egg? Yes. But you like relish? He likes pickle no, eggs. I've never had that either. <laughs> No, I just I just found that out. I was like, oh, okay. I thought you were like, oh, this no, is, this yes, I, I I never have relish before, obviously. So I'm I'm always looking at it, and I have a bottle of relish at home. I look at it, I'm like, what what is this green shit in there? Yeah, the fucking expected. I know, but for real, like in high, I was in high school when I found out. Pickles, it's shocking. Fat, cucumbers were pickles. Really? Yeah, or pickles were cucumbers. Man, we he kind of we fucking pickle everything. And then no, that's, pile everything, everything. Well, the, the thing is, that it's weird because you know your parents are eating that cucumber with the tahin mm -hmm. or that lucas back then, and then oh yeah, and then you're eating pickles. And I never thought at the same time there were anything. They're related. Yeah, they were. They were the same thing. It's yeah. it's funny because growing up, we we have a big family, so we buy everything like commercial. So once we finish the pickles, we fucking buy fresh ones and throw them in there. We poke holes with a toothpick and throw them in there. In the in the pickle juice. So and we work? make our own. Oh hell yeah! Oh, shit. they're even better because it's fresher. Mm -hmm. You don't have to wait till they go all. So they ferment or whatever. So we fucking get them and put with the fucking diablito or uh, yuki. Ooh. Let me <laughs> tell you, bro. My mouth is why are you talking about this shit? But um, growing up was was, was crazy, man, because you knew one thing and it wasn't even fucking what you. Grew it wasn't up real. It's just yeah. whatever people told exactly. you. Exactly. And now it's like it's there right away. Yeah, because of the internet. The yeah. internet messed that up for all of us. Dude, my <laughs> or son, helped us out. My son, he, I argue with him because he's like, Dad, I know more than you. I'm more intelligent. And I'm like, you probably are with the phone and your tablet and all that technological <laughs> shit. I go, but tell me what time it is on the clock. And he's all like, 
damn, Dad. I go, exactly. <laughs> I go, you know what? Here. I'll write something in cursive. I'll go, read that to me. I don't know what that is. This is the alien writing. Oh, I'm like, oh, go sign your name and he'll fucking do it like Elmo. I'm like, what's that? Listen, I don't blame him. I, I like cursive. I like the, the cursive writing. But what what was it for? Why do we why do we have it? For well, I mean communication one. I mean, but well, think about it. It's either cursive or calligraphy. I suck the calligraphy. I don't know. That's like fancy drawing. Yeah, it has a real funny pen. And you just like like you yeah. do a lot of Japanese I just words. Think, I just think people were lazy, so they just wrote they didn't want to pick up their all. pencil. Yeah, so you slurred it. Faster writing way. We we were done. Well, it's considered fancy writing. Yeah, just because John Hancock signed it that way doesn't mean everybody else needs to be signing their shit that way. Yeah, yeah just well, write but, it in but, print. We can all read it. But, <laughs> but <laughs> that's very true. But the thing is, cursive was a way to to make it your own because anyone can print. I can print Gennaro Garcia. Like, well, I didn't write that. Oh no, it, it's G. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, catch it. Yeah, so a signature. True. Gave you kind of like a thumbprint. So that's you. Yeah, because I don't really spell the rest of my name. I'll do my G and then I'm just a bunch of squiggly. And then because I'm the third at the end, I'm just all. <laughs> <in> the third. <laughs> oh, yeah. When I sign my name, there's no. Even, even if I write in print, there's no way you're reading it. Mm-hmm. But um, I'm just. What I'm thinking right now is that our forefathers back then, they were, they were writing in cursive to their uh, their side girls. Oh. Because their, their original girls cannot read it. Oh, you know, code writing that's what it was sneaky link signatures, and but they we, couldn't read anyway because they were the slaves. He, 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 but you know, <laughs> that's the, the whole more you know. episode, bro. <laughs> the more you know, but you know, women they're always gonna break the code, they're smarter than us. Oh, hell, dude, I've always said this, and my respect to all the women out there, especially you, Donna. Something. Women are more cerebral than men, men are visual creatures. We look up and down, we could act like we have x ray vision looking through clothes, imagining the girl naked. Make and it. we'll look at a girl from the beginning to the front of the door, all the way to the bathroom, around the building. Women, all y'all do is use your eyes, and y'all got us. <laughs> y'all got my ex-wife did this trick on me. I didn't think about it, and she did it. She's like, "Hey, you know what? That shirt that guy's wearing, it looked real good on you." And I look and look at the guy. I'm like, "Man, that's a badass shirt." No, but the guy walking next to him, that's a better shirt. And I was like, what "The hell, you're fucking." Gucci now, your fucking fashion model, what? She's like, no, look at the shirt, the print, it's nice. And she all starts grabbing my arm, and I'm like, oh, this bitch, you got me. He's fucking fantasizing about that vato. And I'm <laughs> like, hey, you know what? Maybe I should buy that shirt. I should buy two. Oh, I look good in them. And she's like, oh, no. That shirt, oh, yeah, that shirt. That shirt, I'm like, what are yep. you doing? Get away from me. <laughs> Jose, are you HR? Because I'm about to file a complaint. He's rubbing me like this some more. No, I'm actually just endorsing all this. I'd like Thank to you, see Jose. more of it. Yeah, I'm, I'm very, very uncomfortable. Bear on bear crime. It's on my show. I could just fire him if I wanted to, but I mean, you, know, you get replaced. You get out of me. It don't matter. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, shit, I Don, gonna say. Donna put what oh, was the oh, go ahead. Oh, about the uh, whole curse of shit. So of course, uh, I work at Bank Unknown, um, where I chase checks twenty four seven. Hint, hint. Um, <laughs> so I get checks all the time from the business people, and they're like. Can you tell me who I wrote this check out to? And half the time, I cannot read the fucking cursive. I'm just like, it starts with a C. It looks like maybe chance. And they're like, oh, Charles. And I'm like, <laughs> sure. And he's like, you sure that says Charles? I was like, no, I don't. But if you know you have a check right now for Charles for $3,000, yeah, it's probably that check from Charles. Check it. And they're like, well, can't you see? And I'm like, sir, your cursive is terrible. Like, your handwriting is really, really shitty. <laughs> like, I don't know what to tell you. And that's why it's always funny because for those who don't know, if you've never written a check in your life, you have to actually go by what's written out in words on the check. Not so numbers. even if you put a million dollars in the numbers, you have to go by what's actually written <clears> in the words. So that's always fun when they're writing it in cursive and then they're like, it's for $4,000. And I'm like, well, all I could just see is the word four. And then it says zero over a hundred. I don't see the word thousand in there. So I, I guess I could figure out why they only gave it to you for $4. So like, that's always fun trying to like get them. And then when they actually do, spelled the word wrong they're all mad well it says it in the numbers and i'm like well that's not the legal uh the legal uh legal tender, um, legal tender on the check it's the the wording and they're all well, that's stupid and i was like yeah so if we charge you four thousand when it's four dollars you'd be first thing well it says four dollars on the in the words mm-hmm. i was like so um we gotta go off the words but uh, yeah i was just thinking about that with the cursive i'm just like who writes checks in 2023 just pay the electronic dude, you'd be surprised how many people like old A school because they don't trust the cards they don't trust the banks it's crazy mm-hmm. I, i'm like Oh, this person's gonna pay with a check. I get the carrying cash because my dad's that way. That's the argument my dad always have, because he's always like, "I always have cash," and I'm like, "I don't." And then like, 
Once I went to the hospital and they didn't take cash, all they had was cards. I was like, well, aren't you glad I always worry about card and not cash? Because I left my cards at home. I'm like, well, look who's the one that's winning today. And we'll go somewhere and he's always like, that's why you got to carry cash. I'm like, nah, I'll, I'll figure it out. Like, like, I'll cash up the guy at the door and he probably has cash on him, so it's fine. Dude, true story. Oh, before that, oh, oh, Donna wrote, when or what has been the most memorable episode from your podcast? Um. Real quick before we answer that, um, I don't carry cash and I don't do cash apps or anything like that. So if you don't take my car, then I'm Nimola. I'm not sorry. <laughs> I'll wash the dishes in the ass water. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, my most memorable, I saw that comment and I was thinking about it. Honestly, the one that comes to mind right now, I know there's one recently where I was like, this is the episode. This was the episode that was like, wow, I can't think of it. But. And I, and the reason I can't think of it is because I try to like, it's weird because I do my own editing, because uh, my podcast is record, pre-recorded, edited, yeah. and then it goes out. Uh, so I do my editing, and I have to like really get myself out of it because I don't like listening to my own voice too much. Mm -hmm. like, I feel like it grows the ego. Yeah. So I I I put it out, and then I try not to think about it because I'm next. I'm going to the next person to give them the you know study and research mm -hmm. and all that. But the one I I think about a lot, and I is um the one with cj uzama he plays for the new york jets right now but um great guy <laughs> oh dude, he's a great person like overall but uh he used to play for the Bengals, and we recorded over zoom with them and it was supposed to be 45 minutes to an hour and i think it was like three to four hours and whoa damn it was it, 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 it he was like getting phone calls from his friends saying hey you're you were supposed to meet us here and he's like yeah yeah we're almost done we're almost done mm -hmm. and then hangs up and, and um and he goes ah, i'm not going right yet i mean let's keep going let's keep going <laughs> so we were like and it was through zoom so it was pretty cool that we connected like that mm -hmm. and then uh i did i texted him the next day and i go hey man i'm sorry like like it just went too hard too fast yeah. you know <laughs> and i didn't hear from him for about three days and he goes oh man all good I was worried for a little bit. <laughs> well, that's pretty bad. I, but I mean, when you get someone open up for that long without knowing them, that says a lot. Yeah. You know, they get comfortable and like, yeah, you know what? I can have a conversation with you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, later on, I did get to meet him in person and uh, same same person, same vibe. Just ready to have fun. Just really, mm -hmm. really good person. He's not listening right now, but. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> not, yeah. <laughs> not but I, think, I think that's like the beauty of it because like. Sometimes I intentionally do it. Sometimes I don't like, like as you kind of, I don't know if you know, kind of like kind of didn't have the interaction because I feel like that's just naturally something that looks good on camera, as like conversation as we grow and we learning through it. Um, sometimes I do, or sometimes we have a guest before, so it's like okay, and I do a little bit small talk, but I kind of try to hold off for that reason. That way, like we get the genuine reaction as like as we're learning, because then when you go in, uh, I'm kind of one of those that I kind of zone off. I already know, so that's why I kind of try to stay a little bit like beforehand, and then like when we go through. Yeah, a lot of people are like, oh, I was nervous. And then, like, right off, a lot of people, when they come on that don't know, they're just like, oh, what if, like, I curse or this and that? So we used to have an intro, and in the intro, like, within, like, the first five seconds, like, she was like, fuck. And everybody's <laughs> like, okay, I feel comfortable now. Like, I just heard your intro. Like, I'm good to go. But I think that's, like, something that organically I like on the podcast, which is kind of why I do that. It's just more, like, you build, you see the chemistry over the camera, especially, like you said, when we watch it back, and you're just kind of like, oh, wow. Like, you can tell, like, the comfortability yeah. of people on there. And a lot of people at the end are like, Oh, this is great. This is just like having a conversation. Yeah, like, just like on the counter. And I know I was watching the Chief Flowers one you did. How you're kind of like that's kind of the same vibe you get that everybody's like, oh, it's like just having a bar. Conversation. Oh, now that, that one was funny because yeah, dude. As soon as I came in and you were like super silent, I knew exactly what you were doing. <laughs> yeah. And so I, 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 cause I'm the same way. Like, I go in and I'll talk to them. I'll tell them like the my roles or like yeah. what I, how how it's run and and what I'm gonna ask them. Not like what questions, but like there's certain hints, like yeah. hey, when I do this, this is what you know. Mm -hmm. um, but um, Hector, you you were like straight off the bat talking to me. I'm like, oh man, we're like really connecting already. It's just gonna look bad on video. When we're like, well, shit, we talked off yeah. off camera already. <laughs> I had that but, problem, I but I knew noticed. like you were. I I also knew that you you're a person that can talk no matter what we're gonna talk about. But I knew you what you were doing because yeah. I'm the same way. Like I yeah. cannot. Uh, but with Chifladas, um, she she was like also the same thing as actor she mm -hmm. can talk mm -hmm. and she's so friendly like just opened up uh about everything uh before and then again just as natural on the podcast during the recording so mm -hmm. that went well but for the most part yeah i don't want to mm -hmm. i i like now nah, i'm not here don't I pretend i'm not here like i'm yeah. just setting up and then we'll and then we'll talk 
Yeah, that's kind of like that's why I kind of have him like normally he gets here early, so I'm like, all right, you head, you head and do the questions, and then he kind of helps me too because like while they're having a conversation, I'm like okay, let me ask this question later. Okay, let me bring this up. So that's kind of where like, and then Donna's the same way too. Yeah, that's why they like to do all the conversations beforehand, and I just kind of like, I literally was just late because I woke up late from my nap. But um, normally I'm here a little bit early, but normally I'm orderly like getting questions so that way I come in, like okay, cool, I got this question. But yeah, I just feel like it's that way because I just feel like not that it's not genuine when you're on, but it's one of those like. Okay, well, we already met like certain things. Like with Roman, that was kind of the same way with like Roman. Mm-hmm. Like if you watch the Roman podcast and I watch this one, um, the one from Drink, like you can tell the difference in me or any of the other ones. But that's why it's kind of like too, because then later people are like, okay, I feel better now. Like uh, they're all a little nervous, but once you got the show, like it's comfortable. And I was like, like that's, the icebreaker. You need the yeah. icebreaker. Yeah. So that's why I have like a little conversation, but I try not to get too too detail or too in yet because I'm just like, I want that natural uh conversation and growth because like that's what we're showing the users here like oh this is the person so i don't want to like jump in you know one of those like when you hang out with somebody and all their friends and you're just kind of sitting there like okay well y'all know each other so let me try to jump in but like i got the inside jokes already and stuff like the like the double dutch yeah. <laughs> like, jump rope damn oh, yeah hold on, like, not yet. Oh, yeah shit, well, they already got like their inside jokes and they're laughing and you're just gonna like cool i wish i knew about that joke but um <laughs> sure let me go ahead and jump in so that's why i kind of keep it off show but um donna also said um Damn, I have a big ego, lol. I love listening to myself and watching it back. Like, that's, I'm hilarious. That's uh, yeah, that's the most like factual statement that's ever been said on this program, <laughs> honestly. Yes. Uh, she also said that's awesome. It's always great to get to know people and have a genuine conversation with them. Um, she said Hector and I have very much convers or very Puro much five, six, conversation five, people. Five, got to- we can hold all kinds of conversations with people, and I personally love to know someone beforehand. And then the question for you is, who is your dream guest? Uh, dream guest, dude. The next one. That's what it is. That's so corny. I, <laughs> I was like, damn, bro, you practiced that all night. Oh, man. oh, oh, it's like tiny shine. Oh, the next one, of course. The, all of them. The great. last one. The last one. <laughs> the one I'm on right now. Perfect. No, man. I, I, I genuinely have a great time talking to. I was gonna say randos. <laughs> to, 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 Tales from the street. To my guests, man. I like all of them. But that's when, like, there's some people that I get, they, they'll hit me up and, like, hey, I want to be on. And some of them, yeah, like, hey, man, I can't believe you even want to. That's cool. But some of them, unfortunately, I'm like, uh, no, I'm, like, I can't. If I don't have a genuine interest, then that's not going to transpire through the camera. Mm-hmm. Like, and, mm-hmm. and, uh, you can't be fake. And, yeah, and, and I don't, yeah, and I don't want to be an, uh, um, I don't want to be an ass mm-hmm. about it either. Like, you know, I respect you, but, it's just not gonna work, you know. Um, so you just get two other co-hosts, and let one of them be interested. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, just one of y'all be interested in it. No, but the, the thing, the thing is, and I found this out um, a, a little bit later than I wanted to. But I was when when I first started, I had a script of questions that I wanted to ask, the, and mm-hmm. whenever it went um, off script, I, I tried to tie it back, and I started realizing I wasn't making a connection with the guest. Yeah, I was just no trying questions. to run the show. Yeah, you know, and so I hated it. I was like, or, and I think a, a lot of the guests didn't like me because of that. Like they they, they liked my co-host. My co-host they loved because mm-hmm. he was just in there. <clears throat> <laughs> he yeah. was just in there like making it go off the rails, you know. Yeah. And in the intro on my on my podcast, um, that was that was the that was the intro. It's like, oh, we're you know where we go off the rails, and George has to worry about it. <laughs> you know? So, um, <laughs> but then I realized, you know. I have a, 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 some kind of topics that I want to talk about. And if we get to them, cool. And if we don't, then even better because we had a good time. Yeah. I think it's experience overall. And, you know, if you, if you have a person that leaves happy and, you know, it's a good vibe and, hey, man, let me know. We'll come back again or whatever you need. You know, hook me up or I'll hook you up or whatever. You have that that actual conversation where it transcends it to something more. Because now after today, I see you. Hey, man, what's up? You yeah. know, just uh, chop it up with you and vice versa. Um, I think that we have that connection. I think that's what really makes us stand out more because we genuinely connect with the people. Because like you said, you go by a script, they're going to be like, this is what I don't get. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. That, and it's yeah. like with us that we bounce stuff off each other. I'll say my penejada like always. Mm-hmm. Um, but we get to the core of the guests and, and what they're about and what they, they like to do and everything. And also share their social medias and everything at the end. But you got to have that, that connectivity with someone. You know, and, and that way you're like, man, you know what? And plus, it gets you word of mouth. You know, refer like, hey man, those dudes are pretty. They're pretty cool. Like they're good people. They might be misunderstood, but they're all right. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then you know, it's kind of understood on my podcast now that I force my friendship <clears throat> on my guests. So, uh, 
Say my, say you're my friend. Yeah. No, no, no. Give me a hug. No, say you're my friend. Hug it up. Hector, say you're my friend. Why? Just say it. So mm -hmm. personal. Say it slowly into the mic. Look at his so eyes. Like hey. <laughs> Uh, See, it didn't even hurt. No. Do it. Hey, hey, your turn. Say you're my friend. Uh, no. Say it. <laughs> Say it, G. Come on, G. I, I, press your I way. Have, I have Come no. On. I have no friends. I just have family. Yeah. Hey. Oh. Hey. All right, Dom. Saca la corona. Turn right now. All right, uh, Jose. No, no, you can't be my friend because uh, you're not here. Um, she said. Um, so she said. Uh, you need to say us, bro. Wrong answer. Um, oh. <laughs> so I would say I would definitely say that's one of the biggest like tools you have to learn as somebody who's like doing a podcast is learning to read the guest because I think that's where a lot of people like they can fail and they don't realize it because like yeah sometimes you get the guests that do get nervous or not that they're not entertaining enough but like you said if you have a it's good to kind of have like a little script like okay if shit goes like that off the rails or it's stale or it sucks like I got this as a backup um but yeah, there's some people that are just like trying to get milk their guests, and their guests just like, I work. How you like it up? It's cool. And you're just like, give me something, like give me some entertainment out of it. Um, so I think it's like learning that because I've seen some podcasts where they get those guests and they're just still like, okay, and they're just like, well, so um, what are we doing later? Like with us, that's what we try to like. Even if we get, we've had a couple of guests like that, and it's just like we'll just try to like carry on something else or jump into something. Well, I think that's um, a, that's the great thing about it. I don't mean to jump in on your story, no. but the great thing about that is like with us, we have that connection where we know where it's going to where it's not supposed to go, and we got to bring it in. Either mm -hmm. I'll again interject and I'll say something like, "Hey, what do you think about that?" Like this is what I think. Like what, what's your opinion? Like, oh, okay. And then they open, start, oh, okay. They feel a little bit warm and soft and fuzzy, and oh, you say you're my friend. <laughs> but, uh, you guys have you guys have it tougher because you guys do it live mm -hmm. um to me if a guest is taking a conversation where i don't want it to go then i just edit it up <laughs> just cut it out sure. oh well do you know what that does make a lot more sense does. yeah we're, but i mean that's another thing also like oh, this is like think on your feet like it's yeah. kind of like in like a, one of those uh, comic places where it's like okay ad lib, mm -hmm. ad lib ad lib make it up fake it till you make it and i never liked that saying because mm -hmm. you don't want to be fake with anybody. Mm -hmm. You know, you want to be real. I mean, it's funny because I posted a, a meme on my Facebook. It says, people, uh, are you as ridiculous as you are on the internet? And it's like, no, not at all. And then your real friends look at you like, bro, shut the fuck up. But I'll say this. Even though I said about I'll cut the guest conversation out, I usually end up cutting my conversations out because I'll, I'll say something and the guest is like, yeah, yeah, that's cool. I was like, well, that went nowhere. <laughs> that never happened. <laughs> Uh, you He's are. Like, so I always tell them, like, dude, I, for real, like, what it makes my, my what makes my guests feel more comfortable is that I always tell them, like, dude, I'm here to make you look good mm. and me look better. Nice. So when so are we I going say, on? I wish I would cut that out because nobody left. No, I, no <laughs> I'm like, no, I liked it. I'm like, it's a bad I'm like, use it from now on. Yeah, no, I, that would be too much. I'll make you no. look good, but it makes me look better. Yeah, and, and that's, like, for us, because it's live and we know that that's kind of, like, why, like, we replaced our old host with Hector because I was like, Hector has that interjection that we need uh, when Donna's not doing it also. Um, <laughs> but that's where we tell our guests, like we kind of like, and that's really the main point for me talking beforehand. I um, was like, what we don't want to talk about or what, whatever, re for whatever reason, we just don't want to talk about it legally. can't talk about it, whatever the reason is. Um, and that's it. So it's like, okay, well, as long as you know us, like what lines not to cross, like we're there. And then we'll just kind of like play off reaction. And if they're just kind of like, okay, y'all kind of, like we were talking, like there we were talking about but it's like either like uh I can't really relate, and we just kind of could tell like it's getting awkward. Like okay, cool, let's let's go. So well, I think well, I think we did have that, <laughs> but then you took it a step further and talked about putting alcohol up your butt. Oh, that was a whole <laughs> different episode. No, no, that was the same one. Not not right now. No, I know not. Right Hopefully now. not in this one. <laughs> no, 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 no. You're the only one with alcohol, so watch out. Hey, <laughs> they don't know that look. It's covered by the band. Oh, it's apple it's juice. Just it's it's apple juice. juice. <laughs> it's just pee. Jose, you're the one left. What do you mean? You had to tell our guest. Yeah. Oh, of course we're friends. We're best friends. I knew him before this. Really? Yeah. I was on his podcast already. Heck, did you miss that episode? I guess. Were you talking mm -hmm. about relish? <laughs> uh, no, we were actually talking about whether a hot dog is a sandwich. It was very closely related to relish, obviously. <laughs> or a taco. <laughs> yeah, true. Well, you know what? I had. A, I saw a girl a cut up question. a bratwurst and say, not all the parts are going to fit. You can throw it away. So she chopped it up <laughs> I... and put it up standing up. <laughs> I would have to say that it's a sandwich. 
Me too. Yeah, it's a sandwich. So Donna says, I guess we'll just have to be your guest. Yes. Or she said, I'll just have to be your guest. Oh, the, oh, oh, us. Oh, wow. shit. My bad. Thanks, yeah. Donna. Uh, she just said her. Yeah, Superstar. No. Um, so she had one more question here for you. She says, I'm going to ask you the same thing that she asked, I guess, last week. And that's, uh, what was the struggle with doing and maintaining your podcast? Sure. <clears throat> you can think um, on that if you want. <laughs> this is a good time to tell you that this episode is brought to you by Pair of Thieves. Pair of Thieves keep your things from being stolen. Protect your family jewels. Pair of Thieves. Is that a real place? This is an actual brand under a club. Pair of Thieves. I'm trying to get it. Get it. Also, hello fresh because that's what Donna eats all the time. Make sure you use the promo code two ten go to get zero percent off your order. And um, <laughs> and uh, you know what? Hey, that guy, the AC. Um, Dang, he's a Albert. I'm, Albert. Yeah. He's yeah. a sexy guy, man. So if you're mm -hmm. AC, you're feeling hot, don't yep. make it better. Mm -hmm. Even hotter. Mm -hmm. um, super hot from summer days. What is my struggle with doing and <clears throat> maintaining your my podcast? Um, doing it. Doing it? I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, doing it, I don't. I don't have a struggle. I love doing it. Like when it's yeah. go time, it's go time, and I enjoy it. I do get like super mm -hmm. like. Uh, like a, a rush of adrenaline and nerves at mm -hmm. the at the like thirty minutes or an hour. Adrenaline yeah, to where I'm like, myself. I'm just gonna cancel. I'm just gonna cancel. I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. And then uh, which sucks because this probably like for the people that I either canceled on, which is nobody. <laughs> no, I don't think I've ever canceled, but I have moved some. Mm -hmm. But it's not because of the nerves. I never give in to the nerves. But it's like a mind, you know, fuck. Yeah, it's like. All right, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna, and I'll tell my wife, like, nah, why do I do this? Why, why do I? <laughs> but, um, does she do, talk you off the ledge? No, no, she doesn't. She's like, well, then don't, then don't do it. Why thanks, do you do it? Thanks, thanks, <laughs> no, she's just like, calm down. You know, you always come out and say, it went great, but doing it, it's great. Like, it's the, I love doing it, like, genuinely love doing it. The struggle with uh, maintaining it is, um, is getting the editing like it's like starting the editing that's the because i'm a big procrastinator hardcore yes. procrastinator mm. and i think everybody is but once i'm doing it i lose track of time i forget mm. that my kids you know needs to eat <laughs> so i'm just like like going at it but um but and then and then getting getting guests like trying to figure out because sometimes i can get whoever and it's mm. like yeah whatever but again it goes down to like is it interesting? And am I going to, and it's not like they're not doing something good. Like, yeah. It's not that they're like, like they're just a boring person. It's just that just I'm sure they're going. doing great, but I just, I just yeah. don't, I cannot connect to it. Mm -hmm. So I don't, I feel like it's unfair for me to just put them on and then just give them a crap episode. Yeah. Like I feel like, like that would be a waste of time for both. Yeah. Like, or unfair. <laughs> it would be unfair. Mm -hmm. uh, but luckily there's a lot of people in San Antonio or anywhere. Cause I can travel with it mm -hmm. uh, that are, that are doing a lot of cool stuff, you know? So I don't, the struggle is just probably getting started to the editing. So you're mobile also? Yeah, man. I, uh, so after, so the podcast started in 2017 and it was like just me and my co-host. And then he got a job in Odessa oh, and, and he doesn't live in Odessa anymore. So that's why I feel comfortable saying that. <laughs> um, but um, we just got everything together and it's like, oh dude, I'm leaving. And so he leaves. It's like, how are we gonna do it? It's like uh, over the phone, and I hate talking over the phone. So we did like four, maybe episodes, and we're like, dude, this is done, dead. And then you know, when the pandy, the handy pandy hit, then we were all like, well, I need to do something. Like I was, we were like everybody else closed up in the house. So like everybody else, we either baked bread or started a podcast. Mm -hmm. Luckily, I didn't have a bread maker, and <laughs> the podcast was already started. So we he, just got to he, go. The with first it. podcast was him making bread. <laughs> right. <laughs> um no so we we i was like dude zoom is free right now let's 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 get a you know let's let's do it on zoom uh and and then see where it goes and then two episodes in i was like dude i can't talk about myself let's we need guests i need mm -hmm. somebody else to talk to and after that as soon as the first guest hit i was like i love learning about people let's go and we just kept going um and then he got busier you know things start started opening up and he had to work and you know that's why he's not the co-host anymore but um, you know, again, shout out to Worm. I won't forget. The, it's all sad. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, so that's where I don't even know where why I even told you all that, but too hard to fast. <laughs> <laughs>
That's just a universal term. You can just use it for everything. I know. <laughs> it's just a way to get out of a conversation. Exactly. Awkward. I gotta go. Too hard, too fast. <laughs> you gotta be like too legit to quit like Yenzi Hammer. Too hard, too fast. <laughs> I'm going to tell Helga that later today. I'm just like, yeah, too hard, too fast. Just randomly just in the day. Yeah, just walk by her and just say, too hard, too fast. What, yeah. what, what, what the fuck happened? Yeah, after coitus, too hard, too oh, fast. She's like, yeah, that's exactly. it? She's like, that's it? Too hard, too fast. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. And okay. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can definitely do it. Exactly. <laughs> too hard, too fast. That's what she said. <laughs> not too hard, not too fast. Despacito. Take your time. That was why, like, I laughed so hard because I was trying to come up with different like music to play when we did the flyer, and I was like, "Act a fool by Ludacris," <laughs> and I got the part that we can even talk too fast, too yeah, serious. Exactly. <laughs> that's the best one, dude. And that's why uh, "Too Hard to Fast" is all together, like "Too Hard to Fast" podcast, mm -hmm. and with the number twos because why? Too fast, the, yeah, fast, too hard or fast and furious. The movies, even though the second movie, I think, used the number two too, right? I think so. I don't know, but if you type it, it with spaces, you'll get a bunch of Vin Diesel stuff. But <laughs> it's too hard to fast podcast all together with another. His original two. cover was just him in a black shirt with the cross, <laughs> <like that. laughs> with the with the bald mask. Dude, I'm oh, coming. I'm one. coming for that. Uh, those names, mm -hmm. though, we're gonna take all those car racing people out. <laughs> Too hard to fast. What Heck, the... Hector's running through Honda Civics with spoon engines. <laughs> Bro, I wouldn't be able to sit in a Honda Civic. What the fuck are you talking about? I look like fucking Bowser he sitting just, in a car. He was in the engine with the spoons. The spoon engine, right? Hell, I'm fucked Dude, I used to work in Toyota. I sell cars. They're like, hey, go show the Corolla. I'm like, to who? They're like, well, that girl wants to buy it. I'm like, well, fuck, tell me, look at it. Well, you got to take it for test drive. The fuck I am. I'm like, here, look, I'm going to make you go. She goes, go. <laughs> You go, I'll watch it from here. And, then, and no, and all of a sudden we'd be like, watch that motherfucker get in there. He opens the trunk, he's just sitting in the trunk. Okay, so you gotta turn left. <laughs> um, so Art from Pub Run said, What up, y'all? What up, Art? What's up, Art? Um, have you been to Pub Run before? Me? No. Yes. Uh dude. Um it's fun. I've always wanted to, but um yeah, I don't know why with well, this whole social thing, like having to socialize with people. I think that's yeah, socializing with strangers is the worst. <laughs> that's why he's the same way. That's why he's going to get. That's why he's behind the. He dressed behind up at George Washington. Yeah, it was Fourth of July. Well, because I'm always down to try something new, <laughs> but uh, but most of my friends you don't. You don't have to run, but you do have to be in some kind of shape because you do a shitload of walking. That's when most cold. of my friends were like, "Dude, why are we gonna run?" And so I, I never. That's what. I, that's what I get every time. That's what like. I, I heard that like, the only thing I run is my mouth. That's it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Not an issue. The hell. But it was it was actually pretty cool. It was really nice. I've always but, wanted to do a pub run though. We need we need to go so we can you. actually go party with art. Well, I think the next one art, I think it's anime. Yes. A video game. Yes. So anything like Wreck It Ralph. Video or, games? Yeah, video games. Oh hell yeah. It's badass. Hector, you could be Bowser. No, I could be Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong. <laughs> oh we're, no, gonna, me get, we're going to hell. <laughs> would be, we're, uh, we're going Mario home. and Luigi. No, you can go as Donkey Kong and I can go as Diddy Kong. No, you're taller, you're taller. Uh, no. I mean, come on, come on. G, yeah. G has to be Mario, and Don has to be Luigi. Oh, I got, oh. I got the overall in the red shirt. Donna? Already. Well, yeah, if Donna shows up, I know Donna doesn't show up to anything anymore. No, no, yeah. she shows up for like. She didn't even show up minutes. to this. Exactly. <laughs> there we go. Now he's getting it. Too hard, too fast. There you go. Hey, uh, Donna, speaking of too hard, too fast, shout out to Robert Trevino, my good buddy from school. Thanks for tuning in, bud. Good Donna man. said she's gonna start a spinoff, too, too soft, too slow podcast. <laughs> Hey. Hey, is it trademark? Which which one would you rather be? Too hard, too fast, or too slow, or too soft, too slow? Well, it depends. The beginning or the end? Yeah, I was gonna say it depends on what we're applying it to. Well, yeah, the beginning you could be too soft, too slow, and then the, I mean, I mean, the I mean, because you could be kind of soft and slow and still get the job done, but if you're too soft, then you're just like, well, you're definitely potatoes. too soft here, right then, now. Then you're like throwing mashed potatoes up against bread, like. Ooh. Yeah, I think we decided we want to be too. Was that too a Luby's? Luby's <laughs> mashed potatoes or what? No, like those runny mashed potatoes. Oh, like cafeteria? The, yeah, those dollar store ones that you like that. And it's like a sope. Oh, hell no. Yeah, it's hey, like uh, that. Art, it's bread. Art commented anime and video game come out September 1st. Jose, you need to go as a Game Boy. Uh, I would, but that's my birthday weekend. Oh, and, oh more reason to. And I'll be at a bachelor party. Uh, How are you going to celebrate your birthday at somebody else's? Well, I don't. I, I you know. that. I can't lie. I did my twenty first birthday, um, the same the same night as a bachelor party. So my my birthday was the thirtieth. My buddy who was getting married, his birthday was the thirty first. So he was twenty, and we're I turned twenty one on the thirtieth. So 
the first half, the guys took me out. So I went to go celebrate my birthday. And then at midnight, since he was finally 21, they took him out <laughs> for his bachelor party <laughs> slash birthday. So like the first half was mine. They're like, oh yeah, GG, we're eating, whatever. And then like as soon as midnight hit, they're like, all right, fuck G. All right, birth- all right, uh, <laughs> groomsmen, let's go. We're going to go celebrate your birthday. True story. Um, so what ended up happening is that um, half the group left because most of us were broke. And they told us like the week before we're going to go ahead and do this. So I was already broke because I didn't have money. So they left. I think it was like five of us that stayed. Well, apparently we went up to the, the pool area on the top. Mm-hmm. And we look and for some reason the bar was unlocked. So there was a keg, a half used keg Ooh. sitting there in the pool. And we're like, hmm. We're like, well, this would, this would be cool. We had a tap. We could take it to the room. So one of our buddies that was there, he's like, well, good thing I keep a tap in my car. What? So we're like, pool shit. He's like. No, nah, I keep a tap of my car. So we stuck that bitch from the top floor down to like, was it 10 stories? So we had to go all the way to the sixth floor with it. So we were through the fire escape going down, trying not to get caught. So we went in there and then we filled up the uh, the bathtub with ice. We just did the keg in there. We just, and it was still cold because it was beginning of May. So it was just starting to get hot. So we loaded it up with ice and I was like, I'll be right back. He went to his car, got his tap, put his tap, and we were drinking out of the tap. Dude. So by the time the guys came back, like at one, all of us split. We're like, oh, I'm not going to stay. Oh, because we had to pay. Hey, and I didn't pay. And I was like, I'm going to go home. So I called Donna's Donna. Can you get me? I'm really drunk. <laughs> so she picked me up and took me home. And like the next morning, like I think like a week after the wedding, they're like, we hate all of y'all. We got charged $300 for that. Because <laughs> <laughs> they looked at the security <laughs> tape and saw y'all bring it in. <laughs> and I was like, fuck it. Y'all left us. We, we had a cake for everybody. I wanted to leave. That's y'all's problem. So y'all left the cake behind. We Well, because it wasn't our our hotel room. It was the the... No, I know, but when y'all split, y'all still left it there. Yeah, we left it there because we're like, well, we'll leave it for the guys so when they come back, they can drink out of it. But then apparently after I left, the guy with the tap left and he took the tap so they had a cake with no tap. <laughs> and I was like, well, we left them as a gift. I mean, I don't know what happened after that. I'll beat the <laughs> shit out of y'all if I saw you. <laughs> so, yeah. $300. So I know what uh, Jose's going through a birthday and Well, you know what? It'd be, it'd be kind of cool because you'll celebrate two things on one night. Yeah, I'm I'm uh I'm already pre planning to do drugs that I've never done before. So, <laughs> relish. Me. Hey relish, yeah, snorting <laughs> relish. Um there's I don't not yeah, I guess that could be a cool idea because my again, my co host Worm, uh or ex co host, dude, mm-hmm. he had we, he had his birthday. We celebrated my wedding and it was like the after party. And then when it hit midnight, it was his birthday. Ooh. And it was also like the end of the year bur uh maybe it's not no it's not um but it was that i'm thinking of i'm mixing up two stories mm-hmm. in one but he did have like an end of the world party because his birthday was like oh. that day oh, it was for, supposed for, to like 2000 go, mm-hmm. yeah like 2012 or whatever yeah so i no, not not, oh, not the, like, the, the, the calendar. calendar yeah i got you so but that's a different story but he did celebrate so we were having our after wedding party what's it called the after party the 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 world. After, yeah so at midnight he's like all right, it's done. We celebrated you. It's over. Now it's my birthday. Mm-hmm. And he had a great time. So, yeah, man, you might have a great time. That's badass. Yeah, that, it's going to be interesting. That's a good friend. Yeah, you'll have, you'll have a great time. Thanks for the invite. But anyway, <laughs> on the other news. It's in Tennessee. You're more than welcome to come. Oh, okay. Where? In Tennessee. Oh, cool. Tennessee? Yeah, you're the ten. only 10 I see. Nashville or what? Uh, we actually rented out some just random cabin in like butt fuck nowhere, and it's just gonna be us just. So you're the net, uh, Netflix movies not to watch. Got you exactly. Yeah, no, I, I'm uh, I'm avoiding all of those. Like, what's wrong with this house? Movies. <laughs> I just so, I just no can't thanks. wait till they're just chilling and else all the hairs. <laughs> yeah, that, that's when we just dip out of there real quick. They don't, they don't like our kind around Tennessee, so I, I definitely I'm stick su- out there, I'm too. I'm surprised how I go to Tennessee for that shit. Well, it's a bunch of white guys and me, so that makes sense. <laughs> Pinpoint that, that sounds like a different type of movie. Yeah. But normally it's a different girl. Yeah, it's Get Out. It's going to be Get Out. Sure. So be you're the sure. only Latino going? Uh, I think so, yeah. It's my Virginia friend, yeah. Um, Are you staying in, in an actual room, or are you staying, like, in the closet? Uh, I think I'm uh, bed buddies with someone like, already. Nice. Like, like, did they like give you a specific uniform you gotta wear? Like, no, like, not yet. Like, all of us are wearing these made outfits. You should probably wear it. No, but of course we're doing mustaches, and you know who has to grow the best mustache there? The of Mohican. Course. The, the Mohican. Yeah, that's the me. last of the Mohican. Just as long as you're not giving yourself a dirty Sanchez. Mm-hmm. Oh, true. Yeah. 
true. Endless statue. <laughs> that, that's the first uh, gross sexual thing I learned about. Shout out to Mark Sanchez, my guy. Hey, Mark Sanchez. Did he give you one or he just talked about it? No, he's just my guy and his name's Sanchez. Oh, nice. Oh, uh, I thought you were talking about the football player. Oh, I am. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. oh, yeah, I am. Shout out to Mark Sanchez. He's my guy. Dude, I love Why? Mark Sanchez. Because he's fucking, he's a Hispanic-ish sounding. He's not even Hispanic, but he's we, even no, Hispanic. He's, he's Mexican. Oh, yeah. good. We we're talking about the football player, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, Mark Sanchez from USC and yeah, yeah. Jet, my he, my Jets. I'm a Jets have fan. Have you oh, seen yeah. the the Menzo documentary yet? I have not, dude. That's yeah, I saw it. Badass. A I mean, really good liar. Yeah, I was yes. gonna say he taught. Well, he was enabled. Them. He was enabled. I don't well, blame him for being upset about the money because I would have done the same goddamn thing. I just thing. thought it was funny. Like, I saw a thing where they were like, journalism and what was it, 2020 or 2013? They're all, they, let, they didn't bother to fact check Manti Teo's girlfriend or the fact that Johnny Menzel's family actually had money. They were just like, all right, let me say so. Fuck it. That was actually really funny. The, the Manti Teo doc was hilarious. And just watching all that happen was like, damn, Manti. That yeah. just happened. Poor dude. But at, at least he was uh, now a sympathetic figure. Shout out to him. Because I, I definitely remember making a lot of Manti Teo jokes. Yes. A well, whole heap did. of them. I mean, everybody did. I only feel a little bad about yeah. it. I mean, she's been I mean, sitting in on the podcast the whole hour. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I was going to say, me and her had a very... That's rude. <laughs> me and her have been living together now for like two weeks. It's been great. Nice. She's every, she's there when I need her. But, dude, but the, Manziel the, making that money was is the one thing I truly respect that. I was like, yeah, man, get your money because yeah. the colleges. Oh, yeah, of yeah. course. The thing that I didn't like was his friend crying. Crying? Well, we talked about it. We oh. used to, And I was like, dude, it's a business move. You don't know anything about the NFL or any type of career like that. You were way out of your league on that one. I don't blame him for that. I don't like the fact that he's like, well, we promised. We said on the playground. We, yeah, bro. <laughs> we were friends. Yeah, business, <laughs> like business is business, dog. I just like the whole idea where they're like, if you fill this drug test, we're just going to have your dad call and say he has a heart attack so you can leave. <laughs> well, that was an agent. That, dude, it's, yeah, I was, I was, like, I was, but you know what? Playing sports in high school, there's shit like that going on in high school. Oh, yeah. that, that dude got babied all the way through, especially at AM because of all the money he bought in. Dude, 305 million. Uh, that's the most they ever got since it got started in the 1800s. That's ridiculous. And, yeah. I mean, I would feel like, hey, dude, you use my name and likeness and I ain't getting shit. No, I'm going to get paid. As a proud owner of a Johnny Manziel jersey, uh, shout to the Cleveland Browns. And uh, as a guy that did not know what Texas A&M was uh, before uh, Johnny Manziel, I can confirm. And shout to Mike Evans, too. Mike Evans also that very is, good. That dude's a good player. I okay, like him. Yeah. I, Mike Evans, uh, probably the real reason why Johnny Manziel was really good. But, yeah. But yeah, the, that one game against Alabama was sick. I saw that. I, I couldn't believe it. I hate a and but it, it was a great game. Yeah, I don't like him either. Mm-hmm. And the fact that they held on to win that game even made me hate him more. And then finding out that Texas said, nah, we're good. Mm-hmm. But but let's let's go back to the original point of this. Shout out to Mark Sanchez. Mark Sanchez. My yeah. guy. My, still my guy. Your guy is Hector Sanchez. He's sitting right across from me, buddy. And he'll give yeah. you Hector <laughs> Sanchez for free. Good. Yeah, dirty sanchez on the house. And yeah. that'll be the next episode. Uh, tune in to ten uh, onlyfans.com slash shoot ten bidets to see that because uh, <laughs> you have to pay extra for that. It's a free ninety nine guys. You can sign up at any time. But uh, thank you again for being on the show here. Um, you know you gotta hitch hitch the the five o'clock train before it takes off. So uh, <laughs> I can hang out all night now. Oh, for sure. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, thanks for being on the show. And how can everybody get a hold of the podcast? This is it. Um, we're on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcast, all the good stuff. Like wherever you get a podcast from, just too hard, too fast podcast all together with the number twos. You'll find it. It's everywhere. But uh, Instagram also too hard, too fast podcast. And we'll be on Apple Podcast as soon as I can figure out the damn artwork because apparently they keep rejecting my artwork. So um, normally we do our outro, but since this is a podcast, Palooza, would you go ahead and do your outro that you typically do on your show? My outro? Yes. Well, actually, you know what? Can we end with one thing? Do we have time? Sure. Sure. I want to hear one too hard, too fast story. I know we've had a, a few of little, you know, little oh, hints, but okay. I've got one to start. Okay. I'll let you guys think. Uh, so, I uh, podcast producers is what I do. I have a, a show I do Monday through Friday, or well, Tuesday through Friday, I should say. And uh, this is like my my first time doing it with this dude. I've been doing the show for with him for three years now. It's a sports gambling show. This guy drinks all the time, et cetera, et cetera. He used to be a, a comedian, so he's got a liver. He's got a he's got a hardened liver. Uh, for some reason, I guess this was like our like feeling out process. Uh, we decided to just start ripping shots, uh, and the show starts at 11 a.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Central, 
Uh, so I proceeded to have like six or seven fireball shots before noon. Uh, and it was, it was a great show. It was hilarious. I, I couldn't stop laughing. I still have the video of it. It's, it's a legendary show. Uh, but mate, I was like, yeah, I'm fine. I had shows to do after that. I was like, oh, I'm great. Yeah, great. 20 minutes later, I'm on the toilet, just throwing <laughs> for the rest of the night, rest of the day, just donezo. And I was like, all right, yeah, I'm not making those shows and uh, I'm never going to do that again. <laughs> and uh yet yeah, i did offer to do that again with him recently so yeah it's, it's one of those things too hard too fast too hard too fast um well he is partly a wrestling fan so since we're on your story we're obligated to show the video again oh yeah sure another too hard too fast why are these always with me uh, i asked the professional <laughs> wrestler to slap me in the chest <laughs> If you hit the chingasso before the chingasso, yeah. you know it's going to hurt. Yeah, it broke like the sound barrier. Yeah. <laughs> it definitely broke the skin, too. <laughs> That's what happens when you go too hard too fast without drinking. My yes. my heart went too hard too fast when I saw that in person <laughs> because they had said me to take that shit. Me being the oldest of the crew said, fuck no. Be, and me be being the, the youngest, I said yes. You got to be the tribal chief. Yeah, being the tribal chief, I said, uh, tribal chief says no. <laughs> I veto all of you motherfuckers. And Jose's like, I'll jump in. I'll save. I'll protect our chief warrior. <laughs> I'll be the right head, man. Yeah, literally. <laughs> he decided to be Sammy for us. Just take one. Take one for the team. Take one for the team. Your turn, right. gentlemen. Your turn, Hector. Oh, shit. I thought that was it. No, no. You, I, need, I want a story from you guys, too. We want to know who's... Oh. Hector, you go too hard, too fast all the time. So you're just trying to find the right one right now. Yeah, I guess I, I relived the catfish story with this girl that I had been following on Instagram for like five years. I was after like hardcore. We'd have little conversations here and there, a little flirt here and there. And one day she just said, fuck it, let's meet. And I was like, you're bullshitting me. She's like, no, for real, let's meet. She's like, I already made a whole reservations downtown. We're going to go eat about Hammond's. And I'm like, for real, for real? She's like, yeah. So I got all fucking excited, got all happy. I showed up to the Gunther, parked the car, first time ever not working there. You know, I felt what that like. So I was like, oh, wow, I feel important. So I go up to the room, sixth floor, I never forget the story. So, you know, like when you look at little people, it's like, hmm, that looks good. Who could it be? And then when they open the door, I felt like Smokey on Friday. God damn it, you told me you look like Dan and Jackson. You look more like Freddie Jackson. Dude, I swear to God, her face was there, but she was bigger than me. Not that I'm shaming fat women or men, but you never see two big people together. It's, it's the the, the logic and the 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 whole synthesis of two bodies is not going to work. That's uh that's my one rule. Like I don't have much, I don't have many standards. That is my one rule. If you're bigger than me, then it's a no go. I didn't, I didn't know this. this uh, I thought there would be symmetry in the sizes. No, 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 no none at all, at all. I didn't I, know I, that. But I feel bad. So I, being the gentleman that I am, of course, I was like, <laughs> and I'm not going to pass up a meal at Bohannon's. I said, sure, let's go have dinner. And she's like, eat whatever you want. And I'm like, well, I don't want to be that guy, but all right. So I ordered a nice prime filet. Everything everything was great. Market price. She kept ordering shit. And I was like, are you doing like an Instagram story where you're a foodie? She's like, no, I'm hungry. And I'm like, God, <laughs> when your date eats more than you, bro, I'm like, yeah, it's not good. So after that, she's like, okay, let's go back to the room. And I'm like. She still wanted to hang after eating. She wanted to eat me next. That was a dessert. And I was like. I was See, like, I thought that was the play. was like, get some free food. Because that would definitely do that. No, I eat the food. Don't get me wrong. I, I had no problem eating that shit. Yeah. So I was like, fucking Bohannon's is Bohannon's. Mm. But she wanted to eat me for dessert. And I'm like, yeah. I, I've never had to fight a woman off. Never. I mean, until then. I mean, as long as you don't have to eat the dessert. I mean. I tried and I couldn't find it. Well, I'll look at her knee. Well, I'm just saying, I would have been like, I'm full. I can't eat right now. Like, no, I no, good, I, I, but I, mean, I wasn't going was, to was, was give up that hungry, flag. I mean, if you're still hungry, like, fine, there's dessert, but I'm, I'm full. I'm not eating nothing. I'm sorry. No, I wanted to, but I, I don't know if it was her belly button or her knee. <laughs> I don't know what I was looking at. I'm like, well, I ain't, I ain't getting nowhere. Girl, it's not working. I'm sorry. Uh, it's my off night. <laughs> She's like, well, we'll lay back. And I'm like, okay, well, maybe it's not my off night. <laughs> but then I was like, okay, that's as far as it goes. <laughs> And I was like, mm -hmm. see people with one eye open. And I'm like, all right, oh, she'll fall asleep. Okay, <laughs> so, yeah, that was what you were too fast. That was too fast. Uh, dude, I can't function after eating. I cannot function. Like, in any case, like, I can't even think. I'm like, I just decide to hate myself. I'm like, dude, why did I eat like the chingal too hard to fast? <laughs> <laughs> well, so, let me tell you, she went too hard too fast. <laughs> so, I 
was gonna just repeat the story from uh Hub Run, but we've already heard it like three times in the last like month. It's okay. So we're gonna go ahead and change it up and have another story just like that. Mm-hmm. I forgot to Yes, take us back. Okay, so this was twenty seventeen. My sister had just turned twenty one, so they decided to her twenty first birthday. Um Times were a little bit different at that time, so I had an argument with a specific somebody, and um, she went in and went to Corpus for the weekend, and I stayed here, and I got, a, let's just say, a little too sauced, and uh, to the point where at the party, I was chilling in the chair. Um, apparently, there was like a creepy pervert neighbor that showed up that was like in the moon bounce with the kids. What the fuck? So, <laughs> and nobody even knew, like, he just like randomly like walked into the backyard and like the whole thing. So my dad found out. So my dad tried to beat his ass. So all I know is I look up. I see my dad. He had a, a button-up shirt and a wife beater. My mom's like, a poor little mom because she's only like five foot. Like, she's grabbing the shirt, like trying to grab him. And my dad's over here all like, I'm going to kick his ass. And then like, I just see them like walk by and I'm like, what the fuck's going on? And then I hear my sister like, no, dad, what are you doing? And I'm like, what the fuck's going on? So then I get up and I'm like, oh, God. then uh, Tom was like, Oh, your dad's gonna go beat some pervert dude's ass. I was like, oh, cool, I'm gonna get up and they'll sit down. You're drunk. I was like, no, no, I'm gonna go help you, dad. And they're like, would you like some beans? Yeah, cool, let me get some beans. <laughs> and they're like, they bring me a cup of beans. And I remember eating the beans. I'm like, man, these beans are really good. And they're like, whatever. They got my dad back and they, the guy took off. I don't know, whatever. So then <laughs> I said at my parents' house, because I had my own place, but I said at my parents' house that time. And all I remember was like at seven in the morning, eight in the morning. I get up and I'm like, I don't feel good. So I feel it coming up. So I go to go cover my mouth. But for whatever reason, I thought it was a good idea to spread my fingers and go like this. So I go like that and it shoots off in every direction. At my mom's house, by the way. In the living room. So all over the sofa, the floor, the ottoman, the whole thing. So my mom comes up and she's like, oh, you... I love you. You're my son, but get the fuck out of my house. <laughs> and I'm over there just like, it's, I saw it because it was a Hawaiian theme. So I was in swim trunks and a tank top. And I'm like, okay, mom, I'm going to go home. <laughs> I didn't even shower. I just got in the car, did the walk, the drive of shame home, got home, took a shower. And I was like, I'm going to go to sleep. And I didn't wake up till like, the next day. So like the next day, mom's like, if you ever do that again in my house, I will kill you. You didn't clean up. And it was, my mom said, get the fuck out. I do not want to see. And it happened to be Mother's Day that hey. <laughs> Yeah, you better let that woman drink. You better let that woman drink. And she was like, she was like, I love you, but get the fuck out. And I was like, okay, bye, mom. Um, okay, cool. So, yeah, so that was a fun Mother's Day that my mom always remembers. And that's how you make ass water. Yes. yes. <laughs> that's what happens when you go too hard, too fast. Too hard, too fast. And with that said. We've gone too hard, too fast. Remember, jitter be you, jitter be weird. Bye.